Golf swing there and finishing off. Uh, oh, so there we go. Whoa. Whoa. So first game goes to Rakan. Best of five uh, for this. So you all been enjoying uh, the Smash scene over here, even though it's been a little. Little skimp because of the rain, flash flood warnings, and roads being blocked. Um, it's a little difficult for a few people to get out here. And uh, Genesis also going on, so um, that was exciting. We streamed that out here, and also for people to watch. So um, if you couldn't go, you got the best. Oh, look at that fair to a footstool! Holy cow! Good job, goes to getting that in there. All right, so. Cloud trying to be careful, doing safe uh, back here on shield, and uh, Ghost trying to maybe even look for the same combo again, yeah, being on close to the edge, but not able to. Follow up with Illusion, try to give some space to do a little bit of damage. Oh, Khan doing a dash attack, keeping the Illusion from uh, grabbing the edge right there. Alright, looking for that smash attack. Not able to grab ledge, but uh, Rakan being able to get a punish there with a the grab. Nice tilts. Alright, Gus, yeah. Um, I heard I heard uh, from some friends that you know you were wanting to come out here, uh, but it, it, it wasn't in the favor at this time, so we understand. So, um, we'll, see you, we'll see you sometime. I know you'll come out here every now and then. This is a scene. Oh! Red goes falling off into the, off the edge into a jump and trying to get that. So, a smart decision right there by uh, Rakan. Goes being patient on shield. Right there, getting a nice grab up throw, adding more damage. Throwing out a couple lasers just for damage. Uh, trying to get Rakan to get in on it. Careful, uh, maybe Rakan might read into that, that off edge again. So grab forward throw and trying to go down for a spike on Rakan's limit recovery. Okay, nice, nice uh, jabs right there, combo. Trying to follow up with a neutral to, to knock him off for his recovery. Up tilt. Count 58%. This tall ceiling here. Not able to finish off the combo. Back throw. 
just gonna do it. He's going for that nair again. And he just keeps getting hit, giving those pummels in. Back throw 180% on half of his limit. And then right there, a smash attack by Fox. And so Ghost taking that win. And we are 1 1. Best of five loser finals. Survival! All right. Three, two, one, go! Going back to Smashville. Yep. Fox already taking the early beating right here. 48%, 54%. Just trying to get back to stage. Able to get back to stage. Shield yep. does not have stage control at this moment. And Cloud not just bodying, uh, bodying Fox out and boxing him out here. Yep. Up air putting pressure on his uh, shield. 84% for two. Fox has a nice grab back throw. Up tilt combos right here. Here we go. Here goes the mindless up tilts. Help holding that dash or the jab combo a little too long and then uh, not being able to punish it precisely. Yeah. I guess. And using this limit trying to get Ghost off the edge and trying to confirm that kill. Ghost dodging, getting back to stage, now getting stage control. We're gone too far away for recovery as Cloud's limited recovery is his downfall. Alright, those up tilts to guard the edge. Ghost doing pretty well. Alright. Gus, but we look we look forward to seeing you again soon. And so uh always enjoy your presence, it's pretty fun having you around. So whenever you can come back, it'd be great. You know, there's a few other people that said they'd be willing to you know, hang out and play. Um, I'm not sure exactly uh, how close they are here, but... Alright, so nice grab by Leon right there with the back throw. Um, still holding on to his limit, which is good. I'm trying to go for a cross slash off and keeping him boxed out. Ghost not able to cover. Right at the Alright, so that's game number three that goes to Rakan. This could be a Ghost final match, but it don't count Ghost out. You know, Ghost is able to do a lot. Um, and we see a character change from Rakan. He's feeling confident in, in his cloud, and he's wanting to bring out the Rosa match, and uh, and it looks like the perfect duck hunt, which uh, Ghost likes to do to camp out. Camp out his, uh, his adversaries and uh, just uh, go hunt him. And maybe we're con for that same purpose, knowing that Ghost would more likely go to Duck Hunt, using uh, using uh, more space for Luma to be able to um, help Rosa. I'm not sure, maybe. Because between the two of them, they can space out the stage a little bit more. And uh, these, two, these two do play each other a lot, so they kind of know each other. So I'm sure you guys here in the idea don't know that. Alright, getting a nice grab, and then a uh, throw back air, landing on it, goes rolling on a small platform, not the best decision. Alright, able to get ledge, goes up air, up air. Throwing out some lasers, trying to get some extra damage there, using a lot of illusion. Safe, um, space it out correctly. Luma is gone, and uh, let's see if Ghost can add a little pressure and get some of those, those damage percentage right there from kills. Rose is done, more especially, more specifically, the is Rose is done. Well, to be honest, I haven't watched the Buzz is Rose, but I'll take your word for it. All right, there. Looks like a four. That would be four. Neutral air comes on top of it. Oh wow! All right, 
Ghost getting that grab, trying to take care of Luma. I think the easiest way is just do a quick smash, get him out of the way. Alright, and Ghost still playing the edge, and uh, getting a nice tilt right there. I was thinking about trying to finish Rakan off with uh, Firefox, but not able to do that. Using dash attack, pushing uh, Luma off, and uh, nice uh, forward air right there from Rakan to get back to stage. And Ghost applying some shield pressure, gets that up smash, and finishes the stock on Rosa. Okay, so now we have a fresh Luma and a fresh Rosa, and we have Ghost applying the pressure with the down airs, up airs. Dash attack. Alright, there we go. Shield pressure up tilts. That was a back air, nice from the on. And a uh, grab. Alright, up tilts forward air, and a nice jab. And the down, the down smash pushes Luma off. He's got a few, he's got a few moments to try to apply pressure to. Uh, Rosa being able to finish his stock off so that way he can go to game 5 and try to take it. Not sure if Rakan, if this would be interesting, if Rakan does, um, does lose, will he do another character change? Will he change to Rosa? Or, or will he, can we stay with Rosa? Or will he change back to Cloud? I mean, if, if Ghost wins this, this is a 50 50 chance that um, Rakan might, might stick with Luma, Rosa Luma, and. Go for that up air, finishing it off with Luma. Back to save the day. Alright, that's 3 1. The buzz, 10 stocks from Mexican EU in the crew battle. He played against Javi, Mr. R, Icy, and Jag. And then Tweak took 9 with Cloud. Very bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely fair and balanced. Alright. So now we have we have Rakan versus Charger. Three, two, one, go! This is actually Loser's uh, finals. Sorry about that. Um, and so we have Charger and Rakan, and uh, we're at zeros. Charger is from the San Diego scene. Uh, came down here, came up, I guess, uh, with Phoenix. Oh, 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 terrible. That foot still in the room being there, getting that station. That is. That is ridiculous jank stuff going on right there. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure, but Phoenix, if you'd like to come up on commentating, um, he could he could tell you a little bit more about Charger and uh, his status on the SD uh, PR. So, um, I think he's ranked 6, from what I heard. No, it's changed. He's 11 right now. Alright, with a beard, 11 year old, 11 year old having a beard right now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sometimes it's not surprising. Dash attack right there with limit, uh, killing Rosa Luma, and uh, here we go. Yeah, he, he, he's a Ness main though, but he's pulling out the DLC King here to try and help him uh, get back into winners to fight Phoenix, and uh, he really, really wants to take Phoenix money. All right, so he's throwing out the limit right there, trying to push off Luma so he can get back to stage recovery. Um, successfully and not able to, uh, Luma still keeping the pressure on him. And uh, so, Khan, he, he really does a good job with Luma, um, but he just uh, sometimes feels like, uh, I think, that he just enjoys Cloud. And so, against this matchup, I don't know, I don't think he would want to do the Cloud Ditto. Alright, no Luma here, and he gets the grab as he recovers from stage, and Cloud's got the limit, and he's, he's working on it, trying to get shield pressure, trying to get him out, looking for a limit, 
We're also holding it for recovery, and that up air right there, Rakan seals the deal with one victory. Alright, for those who may be interested, the song of choice right now is Kirby's Gourmet Race. I don't even know how to spell Gourmet. <laughs> Gordo. Three, two, one, go! Alright, starting off right there, 7%, getting Luma out of there quickly, trying to work on some up air combos. And, uh, you know, getting nice damage on there early on in the game. Cloud did it was great. You just charge a limit and then you up air. <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. <laughs> Alright, Luma and Family Rosa are getting some grabs in there. And uh, nice dash attack, keeping her at that distance and getting rid of Luma. And uh, so we got here a fully charged limit and a cloud, and we had like four air and then pushing up away. And a wasted Luma right there, cross slash. He got the spike! Got the spike and was able to get the ledge grab. Nice. What a great move. Alright. Getting out of that, that mess right there. Blue uh, able to help uh, Rosa keep on a call with the entire set. It's Luma. <laughs> Luma's more famous than Rosa right now. Alright. Able to charge his limit on the platform off to the side. And nice grab. Luma is gone at the moment. So he has full charge limit, able to get to the stage correctly and safely without using it. And, uh, you know, I know, Rakan, right? Just call him Rakan. <laughs> so Rakan doing well. There we go. We have a charger here. Back air. Down air, falling up. Down air to up air. He's looking for the kill. He's looking for the kill. He's fishing a little too much. Rakan able to get the grab. Nice cross slash right there. Dealing great damage. Recovering well. Still having stage control. Charging him in for a little bit. Cancel it out. And that was a forward air to bear. Or up tilt. Alright, nice. Control right there. Block. Getting that attack. Good job. Gone. And an up smash right there finishes him off. Rosa having great rage right now. 120%. Um, so she's going to be able to do a little bit more damage. Waiting for Luma to come back. Luma spawns. Gets a grab. Up throw. Up throw. Up tilt. Up air. Alright. And a back air. Finishing. Rosa. And they're doing the banning right now. As we speak. I speak. Survival! Oh. He's doing the cloud ditto. The cloud ditto. This is a limitless match. Survival! Hey, if you're doing a cloud ditto, you can't charge your limit. It's a limitless match. Can you imagine being able to turn off a limit? Three, two, <laughs> right? one, go! Okay, it looks like Khan might have the limit charged a little bit sooner than the other. And look at that, Charger just <laughs> pulling, the, pulling his sleeves up at that time. Um, Juice took off, he's uh, getting ready to go to, to boot camp, and um, right there Charger getting grabbed first. Oh, I'm sorry, Khan getting grabbed first. Alright, this is going to be a little difficult for me to go, as they're both glowing blue on Final Destination. <laughs> and so... I'll just look at the damage that we dealt for Khan. Khan now no longer in favor of the lead and it's back to even as soon as I talk. Alright, we're looking at the shielding. Khan getting cross slash. Um, providing some damage. And, and remember, Khan charges his limit faster using his down B, but he still charges limit as he deals damage and receives damage. So, um,. It's just a little bit better to check on that where you're at so you know um, that if you deal damage or take damage, you can finish it off for something successful as an 
final stage of final um, Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to capitalize on it and charge it being safe and recovering if you did a good job. Alright, looking for cross land and uh, following up with the neutral air. That's great. Um, space up. Oh, look at that spike right there. Um, Pogo and Rakan back into the stage. Charger at 134% is all the rage and Rakan not so far behind him. Dash attack. Nice forward air there. Using the, using the beam blade right there, trying to finish off. Max range for Charger, and not too far behind the con. Alright, getting the grab down throw. I don't even know if Cloud has any kill throws, he does not. At higher percentages, it doesn't even lead to any combos. I look away for one second to confirm that and it doesn't lead into combos any back there or neutral. Neutral. Alright. The charger fully limited and uh, right there. I mean, no limits at all. Ooh, looking for up air and then finishing the touch. Following up with more up airs. Neutral, neutral, back air. Alright, finally right there. We're probably going to finish it off by 83%. Uh, is well within the range that Cloud could possibly finish Cloud off. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm trying to make this a little more epic, but it's hard to commentate these two. Alright, with full limit and a great amount of percent on Con, Con getting a nice grab back throw, trying to get the stage of control again. Nice neutral air and dash attack. And trying to get his recovery with it down there. Um, even though he was able to add damage and everything, which is really nice, um, Khan's gotta maintain stage of control. He's, he's watching carefully as he off stage right there. Nice, being able to take stage control um, right after that, getting from the ledge and uh, get to grab. He button mashed out of that grab charger and uh, looking here for a full limit right there from Rapan. He's following up with some neutral air. Going for that cross slash and hoping that he would have got him, but the uh, charger going a little too far and his shield. And a dash attack as he tried to recover. So Rakan taking that set right now, that game so right it. there is now up Whoa. 2 to 1. So we're on game 4, losers finals, and uh, Rakan uh, hanging in there, trying to make sure that he Secures the win to fight Phoenix. Rosalina and Luma. Three, two, one, go! Alright, this is all the beans. And uh, for Charger, he's, he's got to bring it back. One game at a time. So getting rid of Luma is key, especially early on in the match. Trying to deal that damage. Shield pressure right there with uh, Luma's uh, Rose Luan. Okay, and then we had the cross slash there. Uh, it actually caught the spawn and killed uh, Luma. Pretty much right now, the percentage is even. Charger has a limit. And coming from stage doing down air, um, Rakan. Stage control right now is still in favor of Cloud. He's fighting off that Luma. Um, and then uh, Rakan is still getting, getting back to stage. Now it's kind of neutral. Stage control, Rakan getting the grab, back throw, and uh, again, fighting for stage control at this very moment. Strong forward air. Land pressure on the shield, get rid of Luma, and uh, now Rakan is just trying to get back to stage and see if he can do anything, but that was not confirmed. 
still trying. Nice DI by Rakan. Alright, getting back, but on the other side of the stage now, he's in back here sitting in the way. Cross slash, trying to use cross slash to confirm the kill, but that was up till I confirmed it. And, uh, we were able to uh, finish off that stock for Khan. So now we have uh, a good amount of uh, rage for, uh, for Charger to do something with it. Um, able to get to this the ledge. Even though he doesn't have much limit, he's still able to get to the ledge carefully without any real push. Oh, and he, he, he whiffed that, that grab there. He, or he grabbed the edge. Cover, uses recovery, backed up because the he's a little afraid of what the con might do. Miss the edge. He's at 51 percent already. This is not looking good for the con, but right now they're guessing at each other's shields. Con playing that battle and uh, love. Alright, he's got full limit. He's looking. He's breaking in. He's starting to get stage control and con. Playing defensively, able to get a grab. Neutral attack from the ground right now, pushing him away. He's gonna have to use his limit. Tried to go for the spike, um, and then try to go again for a down air spike. On being patient, um, able to uh, get this going. So, so now we're at 165, and uh, let's see what, what Charger can do. Uh, up B twice and then let's snap. Good idea. Back here now has stage control for uh, Cloud and Luma is not dead. Yeah. Knocked it off. Cross slash right there. Get rid of Luma. Who cares about that? It's good to start right now. I'm trying to win as Cloud. Dash attack with for grab Khan on shield. Able to whiff that grab with his own. Khan to dash attack. Up air. Not confirming the kill on Rosa. Up smash right there. Able to get it. 149% on Cloud One. Alright, so now we have. We have game five. Is this another cloud ditto? I didn't see. <laughs> it's gonna be a cloud ditto. Okay. So here we go. We have we have a cloud ditto for game five of losers. Three, two, one. We have a cloud go! ditto for game five of losers. Opening up an attack on shield, not opening up with charging limits. They're going straight at this. They're they're going to cut the throat here. Cross slash to a dash attack. Both of them shielding. Slowly charging the limits as they're exchanging blows. 28%, 40%, 24%, 46%. So that up They're not even worried about charging the limit at the beginning. They're just gonna go at it. And of course, the one who takes the most damage first gets his limit first. He's gotta be careful over time. Han has his also. So now, even though he had the limit lead at the beginning, Han had. Han already used it. So, right. Oh, did he cancel it? He did! So Charger tried to pull out a limit use, but Rakan knocked him back, so he lost, now he has to charge up his limit again, both of them do. And so, this right now is a high stakes game, because this determines who is moving on to Grand Finals, and who is placing in third, and so Charger unable to recover all the way to his first stock. So now let's go ahead and see what he can do to a pressure on Rakan. right there just building up the damage and uh, he has a good rage to do something. Oh, 
Alright, Charger having his limit. Khan does not. He saved his jump. He needs to put a slash to stop his air time. And then, right there, able to finish off with the forward air. And uh, so we have here him still holding on to his limit. He's, he's definitely saving that for the perfect moment. Khan just doing the little poke out of the shield. And uh, we have here a nice down air getting back into the neutral game. And uh, looking for stage control. Over Khan. Over Khan. Alright, Charger bringing it back. Following up with a nice uh, dash attack to the forward air. On a 66%. And a finishing touch. Was that a finishing touch? <laughs> Finished him off. That is game five right there. Goes to Rakan. So, Cloud main for life. Survival! All right, so now we have the MMG. MMG Rakan versus MMG Phoenix. Stage trying to uh, trying to use this spring there to guard it, and a down air right there just sending Sonic flying to his doom. We have up air to up air, and then we have a spring to back air. Both of these guys uh, trying to add the pressure. They're both fighting right now. In Colonel Clay's, let's go. Phoenix able to finish off that first game right there. So any side bets right now? Phoenix or Khan? Side bets for first or second or third? Oh, we already know third, so never mind. All right, we're going to Lilat. Um, actually, Phoenix loves this map. He's not that he loves this map, but I think. But I might even think of the right dude. Because <laughs> the uh, last I recall, um, yeah, if, I, if I remember, Phoenix doesn't mind this map because most people don't like it. Um, same reason why I kind of like it. That's because most people don't like it, so the fear in their mind already gives me the advantage. Um, because I'm comfortable with it, told me. It's not a problem for me. Right, here we 
go. Cloud right there adding good damage to a Sonic. Sonic can kind of grab the back throw. Uh, but still, Cloud in control of the stage. Sonic's going to have to do something to get back. And right now, okay. Cloud has lost stage control. Sonic right there trying to punish his edge. And Cloud has to use the limit. Air dodging. And uh, Phoenix reading these moves here and following up with forward air and pushing her clock off the edge. No recovery. Alright, a smash attack right there. Just pushing the nudging the cloud away. Nice grab back throw and just using forward air and Rakan having to kill himself. Oh, and it was almost too easy. Thing inside that's here. There's only candy. How much gets first? I'm not sure that, about that question. Three, two, one, go! He needs to play a little safer. He has a full six minutes and he's already lost his matches early. Um, I've never seen him play Captain Falcon, but um, maybe he's just trying to, to accommodate or trying to combat speed with speed. Um, getting a nice uh, right there grab and trying to follow it up with up air. And back air lands, that's nice. Not, not this Falcon, not looking too bad. We're playing the basics, and that's what he needs to do is just stick to the basics and then just, um, just put a little pressure on Sonic. And he's been campy, he's got the speed so he can react. Which is nice, um, and so Kahn's just got to be a little more safe um, between on this match. Um, at this moment, I do not know because I haven't done the math. I've been here uh, commentating and playing, and nice smash attack right there. Forward smash, sealing the deal, and that elbow to Sonic's nose, probably between the eyes, sending him to do and we have 71 percent. All right, Forder able to get, uh, get Phoenix back on stage and uh, use the spring again to add a little pressure and damage to spacing. All right, a neutral we got off the platform to neutral to grab and uh, trying to find something to finish off the Captain Falcon. Um, this actually might be a good change for um, this might be a good change for uh, on right now. All right, look at that dash attack right there. Still with 118%, still able to fight this fight against Sonic. All right, and looking for that up air, up air. And a forward air will confirm the kill right there from Phoenix. And uh, so we've got 56% on Phoenix, but that can all change in a moment's notice. Just look an eye. Rakan, I don't know, um, he was doing well at the very beginning, I think he just needs to, he needs to be a little bit more, get it safe. He needs to go back to the basic up air, up air, just like that. Um, shield pressure, sure, it's gonna happen, but, uh, you know, he's taking a little bit of damage, too much damage, I think. Um, he just needs to get back to his stage control, find, find that neutral game. And he's trying to push the back air, not seeing it. Up air, forward air. Watching that PI. Just be careful. Come on, Ron. You can do this. You can do it. You can win a game. Grand smiles. You can win a game. You can bring it back. Just keep it high. Just keep it high. Don't, don't, don't let him finish it like that. No, no, no. Alright, but I, I, do, I do agree that it was looking much better for Rakan um, going with, uh, going with uh, Captain Falcon. But uh, um, in the end, was not able to uh, accomplish that. So um, we'll be right back. Um, gonna go ahead and get those winnings. I'll let you know exactly. But uh, uh, we'll just take a moment, okay?
All right, everyone, I am back. Uh, we're going to have a quick interview. Um, no camera tonight, but just a quick interview with uh, Phoenix um, as he's gathering his stuff. Um, I do want to say thank you for very much, uh, very much for watching. Um, I know there's a lot of other things going on, Genesis and all that, and a lot of people watching there. Um, and so, uh, you know, shout outs to all, all the all them boys uh, from the IE who went out there to, to fight and to, uh, to, to represent represent the IE and uh, just do their best and uh, I'm just glad that they were able to have the opportunity to go out there and so just shout out to all you guys and uh, love you see you back here uh, next tenacity um, which the date is not set but look forward to uh, our page um, and always uh, check back for updates again I will uh, also uh, share the event on all of your all of your your pages on Facebook um, but uh, I, I'm thinking as uh, as the schedule looks, possibly um, if it's okay with, um, probably are gonna have it on the 12th and 26th. Um, so we might have a two-week break in between, but because um, then that way we can try to keep everything. Um, the following month will be 12th and 26th. Everything just lines up a little bit more clean uh, between. Uh, two of the months because of the way February works out, and so um, that's all I have, dude. Actually, you know what? I could probably change, exchange it. All right. So I don't have, I don't necessarily have a, uh, I don't have a camera. So if you want, you can just put that on your head, and we'll, we'll do it right now. Unless you want to sit in a comfy chair. <laughs> all right. So, so Phoenix. Uh, you brought your friend with you, uh, uh, Charger. Charger, and uh, so, uh, how long have you guys played together? Um, almost, I want to say, almost three years? No, at least a year. So, like, at least a year. Yeah. I've been playing with him. Maybe, maybe two. I think it is two. Yeah, yeah, two. Because he was, he was, um, actually, the, the way I met him was pretty funny. Um, there was a tournament, um, and it was my birthday, my 21st birthday, and after, um, a f like, a few of my friends, like, we went out to TJ Fighters to buy drinks, okay. and then it was him and Ryder, I didn't know both of them, like, personally, like, I just kind of, like, saw their faces, and they both bought me a drink, and I was like, oh, that's, that's hype, thank you, like, I don't even know you guys, and you bought me a drink, and then, just after that, um, we, all three of us, like, kind of knew Fallen Moon. So we kind of got to know each other because of Okay, cool. cool. And then, yeah, we've been, we've been friends ever since, really. Oh, nice. It's nice to have fresh faces come in here, and that's why that's why I ask you that and everything. Yeah. Um, and he, he does play a very good uh, very good Ness. I made this <laughs> the, the poor mistake of going to Smashville first for some weird reason, and you know. Um, oh, he got the forward throw thing on you. Well, like, he did the he did the he didn't follow it up like, but I remember the first time I did that after. Um, I had a fair to fair to fair to fair to fair right off stage. It was like it was like fighting Jigglypuff, you yeah. know. I was like, um, that's why I banned Smashville. Or like don't the, go there first. <laughs> yeah, it's like the same with Sheik. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but he, he's got a good ness, and uh, and then he pulled out um, Cloud against Rakan, and so that was uh, that was interesting. Yeah. Um, he, he, it's not like a pocket like, like he co-mains Cloud for some matchups like Rosalina because like that matchup's miserable for Ness. Because when he tries to yeah. recover, she just goes down yeah, there and absorbs, black holes. Yeah, yeah. I have black holes. <laughs> uh, okay. But, uh, so, but what about you doing the, um, against Cloud as far as, like, being able to do Sonic against Cloud? Because that... It's, um, it's really hard. Because Cloud has a bunch of really good, like, landings. Like, down with down air and back air. Even forward air being safe on shield. So what I try to do in the matchup is just... I, I really need the grabs in that matchup, and so you you would notice that I play the edge of the stage more than the center, and um, what I would try to do is just always try to get an edge guard situation, because okay. um, forward air just hits Cloud in a way that he just can't come back, like he needs to jump, and I can either, you know, go for the, the jump forward air, like, right, read, right. read their jump with the forward air, or just pressure them into, into doing something and so it just becomes like a bunch of 50 50s while on the edge guarding but okay. while 
like we're both center stage, I feel like Cloud has the advantage just because he can combo Sonic really easily and a lot of stuff like spin dash combos, um, after like I'm done with it, like Cloud can just punish me for hitting him. And it's, okay. it's, it's really hard. But um, yeah, I just have to play patiently and I've learned that I don't care if he has limit. Um, okay. Because, like he's gonna get it eventually. Right. Like might as well just like be prepared for it. So if he just wants to camp and charge limit, like I mean I'll put some pressure on him, but I'm not gonna like push put myself too out there to get a punish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um and then so like the Captain Falcon, like I asked you just be, just when I was uh, get, getting you your uh, prize money was uh, Captain Falcon. I mean for you, uh, Rakan's Captain Falcon. I don't, I've never seen it before, um, and you were trying to figure that out at first. Um, but for your matchups, typically between a Captain Falcon main, how is that? Um, and because I, I feel he 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 went for Captain Falcon for the speed. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like what he was trying to do is he noticed that I was going for a lot of grabs, and so he went Captain Falcon to kind of. Um, punish me for my shield habits. Okay. And so he would get some grab combos on me. And it took me a while to adapt, but um, I, I feel like I ended up adapting pretty well near the, the end of the match. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like he went Captain Falcon just to kind of um, combat it. Combat yeah, the combat my, my shield. My shield habits. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the matchup is. It's pretty hard because, you know, Falcon has his jab, but I have a lot of matchup experience um, down in San Diego. We've had uh, Jingen and Terry Bear, uh, both live down there for a while. They don't anymore, but, like, I've got enough matchup experience where I can even take on the likes of Vitality, and, like, nice. pretty confidently, so, um, yeah, it's, it just, it was adapting period for okay. me. Okay, okay. Yeah, all right, understandable. All right, well, thank you again, Phoenix, for coming all the way out here. We'll see you again, I'm sure. Um, and, uh, you know, with all the, the big Genesis going on, I knew tonight was going to be a little bit of, of a downturn um, as far as, like, uh, turnout. But yeah. with the rain, um, yeah, roads being rain. blocked, uh, you know, and stuff like that, I wasn't expecting expecting the rain. You can't predict that, you know. Uh, even, even the weather may get it wrong. <laughs> so, all right. And... Uh, so I'll, I'll see if Rakan would like to have a small interview, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, be closing out this night shortly. Thank you. Talk to him about a couple, uh, couple choices, because um, uh, I hadn't, I hadn't actually seen your your Captain Falcon. Is that, well, is that have you have you mained him at all? Yeah. Well, before Cloud came in, I used to second him. Okay, I so used you used him in teams and stuff. All right. So um, you used to you used to use him as a pocket. Yeah. Okay. Well, I still use him as a pocket. And I recently like made the change over from Smash Stick to Tilt Stick, and when I did that, I'm like, wow, Captain Falcon's like a lot better with this. So I've been using him a lot more just to like get used to Tilt Stick. Yeah, yeah, I like I like his, um, especially if people aren't careful, his, yeah. uh, his his up tilt. Yeah, and then you can just spike him down. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so yeah, so are we gonna see more Captain Falcon um, from you? Uh, probably not. I I like to. Stick it with uh, with uh, Cloud and Rosa. I have yeah. a lot of other characters, but two is enough, honestly. <laughs> right, right. So who do you prefer then? Do you think Rosa is still your main, or do you think Cloud is? Or um, is it fifty-fifty depending on the matchup? I'm tending the main Cloud now. Okay, okay. So you're gonna become a DLC fan, huh? Yep. <laughs> well, I like Cloud, All especially right. that Advent Children outfit. I can't play the 
normal Final Fantasy VII one at all. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so with Cloud, what are you looking for? Obviously, besides the, the limit, but what are you looking for when you when you have matchups against something fast like Sonic? Uh, I just like to. Well, Phoenix was playing a lot better than me, but like I like to make sure that like he can't get his spin dashes started and just uh, like get force him to like play close up. Okay. But like when I was playing against Phoenix, he was winning the close up exchanges, which was a problem for sure. Okay, is that why you you switched to cloud? Um, switched from um, cloud to Falcon. Falcon. Yeah, probably. Okay. I, yeah, I was able to, like, set the pace more with Falcon. Okay, okay. So, yeah. Um, and then, uh, your, your Rosa in previous matches uh, is always... I, I always like seeing it, because you, you, you'll switch, you'll start off with Cloud, and then you'll, you'll win a set, or game, and then, uh, and then as you advance through the set, you switch over to Rosa. And yeah. it's just kind of like you're comfortable, like, you know, like, well, I'm changing it up because I feel comfortable, and, you know... Yeah. A lot of it is like stage dependent too. Like if someone takes me to Duck Hunt, Rosa's best stage, you know, yeah. might as well. Well, and, and then that was with Ghost. Ghost uh, took you to uh, Duck Hunt, yeah. and and I, I was like, oh, he changed to Rosa probably because on two two aspects is that because um, Ghost can't play Campy Fox, yeah. and so um, but the aspect for you is Rosa um, being able to utilize Luma a little bit more as far as controlling such a large stage. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, Cloud, like, he's actually really good on Duck Hunt because he can use the tree to, like, charge his limit. But I don't like playing like that. I'd rather just play Rosa and just actually play. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, to me, I'd rather play a game than just sit there. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> so, alright, well, thank you, Rakan, again for coming out. And, uh, thank you for hosting. You're welcome. Have a safe, uh, safe trip out uh, through the rain. Everybody, have a good night. And uh, thank you again for uh, watching Tenacity Esports. And we'll we'll catch you around in a few weeks. All right, signing off.